Hi, everybody. Welcome to this overview screencast of Metropolis Arc III, The Beating Orchestra. Before I even start to talk about this collection, let's just sit down, load the first multi-patch, and have some fun. That's Metropolis Arc 3 right out of the box. What exactly is Metropolis Arc 3, you might ask? Is it percussion? Is it an orchestra? It's both, but melted and refined into one, a percussive orchestra. With this collection, we recorded a huge amount of epic drums and percussion, both ensembles and solo instruments. We also set up the craziest orchestra of the series, but not for the basic orchestral articulations. We asked them to imitate the drums, to play as if they were the percussion section. That way, we ended up with very tight and rhythmic orchestral sounds, which are reminiscent of drum articulations. Single hits on a drum, marcato, staccato, or staccatissimo in the orchestra. Short flams, irregular upbeats or ricochets. Crescendo, decrescendo rolls, or flutter tongue. To make things even more exciting, we recorded most of the percussive articulations not only tonally on a single pitch, but we did tight and wide clusters as well. Let's have a listen to an example using quite a bunch of these articulations in a full orchestra multi. Now for the real percussion instruments, we did those articulations as well. For orchestra and percussion, the articulations match perfectly, so you can also play them together for total rhythmic insanity. We created quite a bunch of those multis for instant access to Metropolis Arc 3. The amount of content in this collection is colossal. We have eight orchestral sections with up to 47 articulations per section. We have a taiko ensemble and solo taiko drums of all kinds. We have a huge set of epic percussion ensembles and single instruments in all ranges, from very low drums, toms, snares, found percussion, gongs, cymbals, wooden percussion, to the highest clicky and clacky stuff. We even added an ensemble of three sets of timpani and a staccato and FX piano. But there's no reason to be overwhelmed by all that content. Metropolis Arc 3 is as easy to use and accessible as it gets. To get every user started quickly, we designed a new structure. In this collection, 
The district folders do not separate different instrument types and sections like in Metropolis Arc 1 and 2, but reference different levels of patches. In the first district, you'll find the combined orchestral sections of strings, woodwinds, and brass, together with some earth-shattering layered percussion ensembles. The second district features all individual percussion ensembles and a couple of menu patches, which include the single hits from all the instruments. In the third district, we then have all the solo percussion instruments laid out in individual patches, as well as menus. You'll also find a very punchy staccato and FX piano in here. And finally, the fourth district consists of the individual orchestral sections. Now, let's dive in and go through some of the content. For the strings, we recorded a high and low orchestral ensemble and quintet consisting of the leader of every section. They are also provided in separate patches. Like all the other orchestral sections, they play in a very aggressive and rhythmically percussive style. With the different articulations, you can program really complex and rich sounding rhythmic patterns and gestures. And because they are consistent across the whole orchestra, you can combine them in any way you want. The seating of the strings is quite similar to Metropolis Arc 1 and 2. We have the high strings spread from left to right, cello in the center, and basses behind them also spread quite wide. We also have the usual mic positions at our disposal. For the strings, it is close, tree, AB, and surround. For the brass, we recorded three sections, a low brass group containing of two tubas, cymbasso, contrabass trombone, bass trombone, and two tenor trombones, a horn ensemble of eight players, and a trumpet ensemble of six players. Let's start with the full brass orchestra and then work our way to the individual sections.
Let's also listen to the mic options of the brass ensembles. For some special colors, we recorded two quite unique woodwind sections. The low winds consist of two contrabassoons, bassoon, two contrabass clarinets, two bass clarinets, and two backs, a very unique instrument related to the contrabass saxophone. We place them in a mirrored setup, so the contrabassoons are on the far left and far right, and so on. For the woodwinds, we have two piccolos, two flutes, E-flat clarinet, B-flat clarinet, oboe, and English horn. They're sitting together in two rows in the standard woodwind choir position. To cut through the mix, the woodwinds often need some close microphone attention. Especially with the low woodwinds, you can hear the nicely spread panorama with the instruments sitting in that mirrored fashion. Up until now, we've only listened to the tonal single note or octave performed articulations. But as mentioned before, we also have those articulations available in a tight or even wide cluster style. Let me show you some examples.
Just like their tonal counterparts, they're recorded on multiple pitches, and they're also consistent across the articulations and fit together with all orchestral sections. So they really call for being combined and layered. To enforce the rhythmical aspect of Metropolis Arc III, we also recorded single note and cluster repetitions for all orchestral sections in up to seven note lengths. They sync to your host tempo and you can switch between them directly while you play. version can get very aggressive, but they seem tame when compared to the clusters. Metropolis Arc III is the ultimate orchestral beat machine. And not only because of its enormous orchestra, the percussion instruments and sections stand out on their own. We recorded all kinds of taiko drums, big to small drums, wooden percussion, metal, found percussion, and even a timpani ensemble. Let's start again in the first district and check out the layered ensembles. The percussion ensemble district features the individual ensembles. We have dedicated taiko ensembles with three players each.
The percussion ensembles feature four players each. They range from very low drum ensembles to toms, trash drums, snare drums, up to high metal, wood, and shaker instruments.
Those two categories alone bring epic percussion to a new level of richness, variety, and sonority. But we went even further by also adding an ensemble of three full timpani sets, which play single pitches in clusters as well. To truly satisfy our insanity at orchestral tools, we went ahead and recorded most of the instruments featured in the ensembles again individually and added even more drums and found or trash percussion in District 3.
In this folder, you'll also find a Steinway D Grand, which will perform the tightest staccatos and cluster articulations together with some FX. And that's a brief overview of Metropolis Arc 3. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and had as much fun listening to those sounds as we had creating them.